Is it really worth it to pursue art as a career? Can you pursue art full time and not have to worry about your situation financially? Now, I'm gonna give you guys the most honest and most realistic answer to that. And I'm also gonna give you guys 12 tips, 12 solid tips that I think that if you follow them, and I truly believe this, that if you follow them and take them to heart and you practice them religiously, you will make it as a successful artist, no doubt about it. It's how the world works, it's proven. There's one thing that every successful artist have in common, and a lot of it is has to do with these tips that I'm gonna mention to, to you guys. So definitely stick around for that. Now, before I get into those, I will point out that anybody can pursue art as a hobby, right? If you're not getting money from it, if nobody sees your art, you're just doing this just because you want to, it's fine, like anybody can do that. But if you wanna do this successfully and as a career, professionally, your mindset towards that has to completely change. You cannot view it as a hobby anymore because one thing that distinguishes a hobbyist with a professional, a lot of it is their mindset. A lot of the times they might have the same skill sets. Some people are just naturally gifted to create good art. Uh, some people are not. That's just the reality. Those that are not have to work twice as hard. That's how the world works. But nonetheless, hard work is always rewarded. So there's a connecting factor between all the successful artist. It can be art, drawing, painting, whatever. It can be acting, it can be music. There is one thing that connects them all and it's usually their mindset and how they view their craft and how hard they're willing to work to be successful. So without other way, let's get right into the tips. All right, so tip number one, this is very simple. You have to want it. Anybody can want it, literally anybody. This is probably the easiest part because most people want it anyways. Most people want success. Most people want to be financially stable. But that leads me to point number two or tip number two, which is you must really want it. Now this is, I feel like what distinguishes the successful from the non-successful. You want it, what are you gonna do about it? Generally, people that want it are people who are too lazy to work for what they want, which leads it to them pursuing in art as a, as a hobby but if you want to do this professionally if you want to do this full time you must really want it what are you going to do about it that's the question and are you willing to work towards that that's number two so once we've settled on that now we can go to tip number three which is discipline hard work and consistency now this point specifically i put these three together because they're pretty similar but this work mindset really resonates with me because it's something that i've always felt like it's fundamental like there's no discussion you need to work hard to pursue your goals and i've had that mentality as a very young age if you want something work towards it now you have to be disciplined there are a lot of ways people are disciplined not everybody's the same everybody has different methods of being disciplined i'm just going to tell you mine and how i've been disciplined to be very consistent at making art and content creation generally for me specifically i've always leaned towards finding an, an excuse to be consistent i'll give you guys an example for example making content on youtube or instagram or whatever every day i'll upload every day and i'm gonna hold myself accountable to that i must upload every day i mean yeah there are times here and there where i'm lazy or whatever it's fine as long as most times you are sticking to that schedule it's fine you don't have to be completely super strict about it but you have to be consistent that example is specifically for content creation and art when i started when i wanted to be good at making art i knew that drawing like every day was important and i had to be consistent with that so i uploaded pretty much like every well in the beginning i uploaded every week so every week i would upload and that would force me to pretty much draw every week recently on instagram and tiktok whatever is every day that would help me keep myself accountable to having to do that every day now that's specifically for content creation now there are other for example, if you want to be a comic artist, write a story and decide like, you know what, I'm going to be making one page every week and you stick to that. Now, that's important that you stick to it. It can be, for example, I don't know, if you're trying to be a designer, design a logo every week. I don't know, and upload it to, to, to social media, for example, I don't know. But that excuse, that reason to be consistent is what's driven me. Now that's for my situation specifically. I encourage you guys to find what drives you or what works for you specifically, because I know it's not every, it's not the same for everybody. To conclude, it's just finding an excuse to be consistent. And this is what's worked for me. I don't know if it's gonna work for you, but that's just me. Tip number four is do not do this for the money. The money, the attention, the views, all of it together. You cannot make that a priority if you want to grow as an artist, as a content creator, whatever it may be. Because when it doesn't come, which most likely it won't, it won't come for a very long time, you are gonna give up. That is extremely important that money, attention, all this does not drive you whatsoever. Now, I understand we're humans, and a lot of the times we feel down if like there's no results 
right if we if there are no results a lot of times we feel bad it's fine every once in a while it's fine like it's happened to me it's happened to everybody but you have to remember like i feel like you have to have a method to remember this in a way for me for example is having a, a poster on my wall reminding me like i put once you upload forget about it and that's stuck to my wall because for me specifically whenever i upload i tend to look at the views see how it's doing and if it doesn't do well i feel bad so to remind me of that to not worry about that and just worry about being consistent is i have a poster on my wall saying that and once i upload you know completely forget about it and look forward to the next video i feel like that mentality will help you tremendously if you're gonna do this for a long time and consistently now this leads me to tip number five which is do not rely on your feelings or motivation to do what you're doing now obviously it's good and it's what should drive you but it's not something that you should rely on because feelings fade feelings are momentary 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 that's a weird word they fade away it's just like love or whatever it is extremely important to not rely just on motivation obviously obviously it's good and it's something that you should try to find inside you all the time but we cannot rely on that because not every day is gonna feel like you want to do this do you really think that i want to upload videos every day i'm obviously motivated to do it but motivation is not what drives me it is just being there showing up doing it do not think just do it because it's your responsibility to do it this applies to every aspect in life you will be more happy if you don't rely on your feelings or motivations but whenever you can obviously try to do it with motivation with passion obviously this ties to tip number six which is get your daily dose of motivation and inspiration i am a heavy advocate of inspiration motivation i am a very very passionate person i get inspired very easily by other people by others work other creators it is important that you keep dosing yourself with motivation whatever it may be for me specifically i get motivated by seeing other creators doing what they're doing seeing their success and sticking with it no matter how much failure or success comes their way they are still at it they're still showing up they're still being consistent that drives me that motivates me to do what i'm doing a lot of the times for example i get motivated by just scrolling through artists on art station for example so i encourage you to find whatever it is that you're passionate about specifically and just refresh your mind with inspiration every so often it doesn't have to be every day but it's good to remember why you're doing what you're doing tip number seven do not compare yourself with other artists other people i say this because this is something that i've obviously done and a lot of the times we can't avoid it right especially if you're a content creator you're constantly constantly comparing yourself with other people how many followers this one has compared to yours seeing their views seeing their stop it i have to constantly remind myself that that should not be something that i should be doing at all you have to completely tone yourself out from everybody else's success or whatever it may be because a lot of times we need to understand that not everybody is the same how somebody gets his or her success it differs so much from how you're getting your success somebody may get successful in the span of a week like a million followers in a week some people takes them eight years which is my case it took me about eight years to get what i got seriously like i worked hard for a lot of those years to be extremely consistent to hard work showing up nothing worked it worked a little bit but not in a crazy amount it took me one idea out of nowhere that popped up literally the night before and i didn't really think much of it and then in the span of a one to two months one million followers on tiktok six hundred thousand followers on instagram success happens differently for everybody and it's so easy for me to compare myself in the early stages i'm referring with a huge artist like on on instagram or on youtube or whatever right because i'm putting double the work he's not but he has that success why there must be something wrong with me right this mentality is extremely toxic and will not really get you anywhere i've done this and i'm telling you like if you work hard you will get what you want like that's how the world works that's how god made the world hard work is rewarded no matter how you look at it it might take a long time might take little time doesn't really matter just work hard show up keep doing what you're doing but looking at other people's success i feel like it's important to drive you to aspire to that rather than comparing yourself which i think is a negative mentality how many followers the person has compared to yours which is what drove me in the first place to do the content that i'm doing is looking at other people's success and saying wow i want that what am i gonna do about that if i want it bad enough 
I need to do something about this. I feel like that's a healthier way to look at it. All right, so the next couple of tips are more specifically to art. Every other tip before this was more generic. You could apply to pretty much anything in life, really. So tip number eight, the materials do not matter, at least in the beginning. Obviously, good materials help in creating good art, but I think it is more important to worry about your art skills rather than the art materials because a lot of the times you will be surprised people make incredible art with the most basic materials and that's because they worked more on their skills rather than the materials that they use and a lot of the times good skills transfer to any medium it doesn't matter painting drawing if you have good skills it transfers to any other medium and any materials it is extremely important that you focus mainly on creating good art like i can't emphasize on this enough to do that you obviously have to be extremely consistent extremely hardworking. be realistic with yourself obviously if this is something you can pursue if this is something you can achieve actually no don't say that because a lot of people they might have the drive to be a good artist even if their art is not good obviously they have to work twice as hard to be good at art but if you work hard enough you will get the skills that you want so i feel like the most important thing is work hard be consistent it's just like working out some people gain weight easy easier than others it's just how life works that doesn't mean that the chubby person can't get his dream body it just means that he has to work twice as hard as somebody who lose weight as easily it's kind of the same same thing some people are just naturally not the best at creating art you might have to work harder than others that's just natural everybody is different i was okay like i'm not the best at art like not even close but i think what distinguishes me was that i've i've, I've been doing this for a long time and very consistently so yeah don't let bad art demotivate you to be good now tip number nine i feel like if you're gonna be mediocre right if you're gonna be kind of average my personal advice is that you pursue social media which is i feel like it's my case i'm kind of mediocre like maybe a little bit decent but i'm not the best by any means just to be realistic not everybody's gonna be the best like you have to work extremely hard extremely extremely hard to even be in the same ballpark as the best artists so a lot of us are gonna be pretty average so my advice to you if you're gonna be that is to obviously don't strive for that but if if there's no other choice pursue social media a lot of people are pretty forgiving in terms of how good you are in social media because things are i guess less professional you're catering more towards an audience that a lot of times are not the best at art so you're already like better than most right so if you're not going to be professional do social media you can't imagine like the cases there's so many cases of artists who are below average that have over a million subscribers on YouTube. The cases are like this. The only way that they got success is a lot of times it's luck. But a lot of the times also is they just know how to create content, how to make things entertaining and know what people like. That's what I feel like if you're going to be an average, just study social media content creation because there's a lot of potential there. And the internet is infinite. A lot of the times we compare ourselves to big, big artists like have millions of followers on tiktok instagram whatever not knowing that you could easily get that like it is not impossible you might even surpass them like it's like it's that crazy okay so tip number 10 is if you want to be a professional artist you have to be amazing not good amazing we have to understand that the art field is extremely competitive like you cannot understand how competitive it is there are people who have worked countless hours to get the skill they're getting and have triple the experience you have in whatever field that you want to pursue it can be comic book creation it can be concept art it can be graphic design whatever it may be some people are just disciplined as heck to perfect their skills and there's so many of them so to stand out you have to come close to their work ethics and just their discipline being completely realistic most of us are not going to getting even close to that this ties back to the one of the first points which was what differentiates a successful artist from a non-successful artist is their drive their mentality towards the craft and if you're not willing to sacrifice everything really to be the best then you're just not gonna make it and that's just a realistic truth you just gotta accept it most of us are just gonna be mediocre good at best but i feel like it's important right if you want to even strive to be even in the same ballpark as them is to learn from those people learn understand what it is that they're doing how they're doing it you would be surprised though that a lot of them really aren't working as hard as you think a lot of them are just naturally gifted to create art have a good eye just understand i don't know proportions lighting all these sort of things a lot of the times it's not as bad as you think 
but it is true that they put in the hard work to understand all that and to do that consistently for a long time for them to basically master their craft i think it's important to just study them understand what they're doing correctly just even try to imitate their their skill and just have a very critical eye towards your work yes it's good to compare i feel like you should compare yourself with professional artists but more with the mindset of learning and understanding what you're doing wrong to be able to reach his level at or her level at some point yeah so and again if you're gonna be mediocre my advice is you pursue social media because that's the easiest way to be an artist and be financially stable just being completely honest so this leads me to my next point which is prioritize your portfolio i think it is extremely important as an artist i think it's one of the most important things if you want to be you want to if you want to do this professionally is to have a good portfolio that is literally the most important thing to have a lot of people might debate that having a degree might get you the job that you want in the art field will it help maybe but my honest opinion is that people are going to value what you're able to do more than your degree obviously it might help get you whatever job that you might, might want to get but a lot of the times people are willing to look over that if you are an amazing artist so my advice is bulk up on your portfolio it is extremely important that you create good art that you're able to show clients show people and one way to create portfolios in my opinion is to make the most out of whatever situation that you're able to create art in for example for me is in college i had a lot of classes and you know the ones that i was interested in which for, for example like in concept art like designing environments characters all the sort of things was the most interesting ones for me are the ones that i made, made the most out of gave my all in whatever exercise that i was doing to create a portfolio that's an example you don't have to go to college to create a portfolio that's not the point the point is that just have the initiative to create a portfolio create a good portfolio that you're able to show people and just keep updating that consistently because obviously you're not going to be the same artist that you were a year ago so just keep updating the portfolio it really doesn't have to be just art it can be i don't know acting music what jobs you've done you know all this sort of things my advice is just just do stuff really that's that's what it boils down to just do stuff ambitious projects like art is easy right like art like you you don't have to depend on anybody to create art you can just do it on your on, by yourself on your in your room but a lot of the times for example if you want to be an actor you would think that you depend on other people to create a reel or, or to do projects right but i feel like it's important to have some initiative and say you know what i want to create a film by myself and bring people on board right rather than depending on other people have a little bit of initiative when it comes to creating which is what i've done so that's what i encourage you guys to do all right so the 12th and final advice is to be realistic as i mentioned in the beginning art is not for everybody it doesn't have to be just art like whatever it may be music freaking sports i don't know just because you have a passion for it doesn't mean that it's right for you as i said what distinguishes the successful and the not successful is their mentality what unites all the successful people and you'd be surprised that most people most successful people have this mindset is working hard and not really resting until they get what they want so if you're the kind of person who can't work hard for whatever reason just understand like you're not gonna make it like i'm just being completely honest you're not gonna make it so unless you have that mentality you're not gonna be successful now as, as i mentioned like anybody can have a passion for it everybody can just want it whatever it may be as a hobby but if you want to go past that to do this full time to be financially stable to be successful you have to have a mindset that not everybody has you'd be surprised like the circle around me friends people that i know don't have the mentality i have not even close obviously if you were to ask them do you want a million followers today they were like yeah of course like that's the, that's what i want but a lot of them are not gonna do anything about it or even if they do they might make one or two videos and that's it just letting you understand the typical mentality so my advice is to study yourself be extremely extremely realistic with yourself don't lie to yourself it is so nice to dream about being successful or whatever dream you may have but if you're not willing to work for it you're not gonna get it so that's it for me i know it was a quite a long video but i feel like this is an important topic i've given my two cents on it uh, this is a topic that i'm pretty passionate about and a lot of people have asked me my opinion on on how to you know be successful how did i get what i get for me it's extremely clear especially looking at my circle around me like i'm not like everybody else like for example like how michael b jordan described himself like he says like i'm built different like i'm just built different like my mentality is just strong like i work towards something and i want to achieve it and i will get it that's the kind of mindset that all the successful people have in common 
which is hard work, mental focus, and just working towards your goal. So if you were to follow everything that I said in this video, I almost guarantee that you're gonna you're gonna make it. It might take a few months, it might take years, but at some point you will get what you want. So that's it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you have any other questions you might want me to talk about, let me know in the comments and I will make a video about it. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.